Why, well, hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And Chantal is on a live streaming spree today. She went live earlier and now she's currently live again. So I'm going to be skipping around a bit more than usual. If I miss something, I'm so sorry, but like also my mental sanity is worth a lot more than YouTube at the moment. <laughs> And I'm also going to be doing a two-in-one video so that way you guys don't have to click through lots of videos. So with that being said, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today for multiple hours now, shall we? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go back for sure. I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to visit here, but that's about it, you know? Don't feel really like at home anymore, I don't know. That's what you keep saying about the other place and here and, you know, whenever you get sick of the other place, you come back here and be like, I'm going to go home. And it's just like, it's the same song you dance every single time. Girly, go get, I don't know, helped so that way you can make up your mind because it's just, it's tiring at this point, honestly. I mean, I do feel at home, like, with family and stuff, but, like, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. Am I feeling better? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. The flu has come and gone. I mean, honestly, it's a miracle that she went from, guys, I only want fruit to rehydrate me to, like, within the same week, being like, oh my gosh, guys, here's a temple. How that works out, I will never know. Very suspicious. People are like, that's an omen to stay in Canada. No, I came here and got sick. That's an omen to leave. <laughs> that's a sign to leave. As soon as I get here, I get this bad, horrendous, horrendous stomach flu. <laughs> you rent a place with your piece I, yeah i could but i don't think it's worth it honestly i don't like if i go back i really plan on not coming back here for a while so i don't like if i go back i really plan on not coming back here for a while if i go back not when very interesting wording could she have misspoke maybe but just it's chantal very very suspicious oh. Scrape out. He'll be back in three months. No, yeah, I can't. This has been an insane time, and there's no way. There's no way I can come back in three months. It's not going to be doable. <sighs> Other Thai restaurants in Cornwall. Yeah, but I'm not going to be in Cornwall today. So I kind of just bounce around from places when I'm here. But there's a lot in Ottawa and Montreal. I don't know which one I want to go to. <laughs> what did I lie about, Cali Goral? Oh, girly, where to begin? <laughs> and now I, I'm like, now I have my other cat. Like, I don't want to leave. So, yeah, Sam is okay where he is. I like them, but not like, I don't love them. Like, it's not something I think of craving, you know? What's everything, Kelly? Name something. You can't name something? And also, you could name off a list of things. And she'd be like, well, I never said that. I never did that. Even with proof, timestamps, complete clips, complete clips and context, she would act like nothing was wrong or what she did was wrong or she lied at all at all ever okay what then according to heather name something well i mean there was the whole fasting thing that happened not too long ago which i mean hey it's between her and god to be fair but just i don't know why you would act like for a week and a half that you were fasting oh my gosh guys but then whenever you came here you decided to tell us that you weren't which was kind of odd but there you go there's one example i can think of off the top of my head that happened not too long ago long either like the whole time why is there like drama over my alice in wonderland bag i don't care if it was like found in the garbage it was gifted to me it's special because you said it was handmade which it wasn't handmade it was bought offline which i mean hey nothing wrong with that it's a cute bag i like it i love alice in wonderland but just <laughs> of course it, it's our fault for letting her know that it's um that it's not homemade but anyways is that a lie one minute i was getting an apartment and now i changed my mind and i'm going back to kuwait so how is that a lie i was getting a uh because you lied because that's not what you were doing like within the same week you said guys here's my paypal but then um you know that money was supposed to be going towards you um living in canada and doing stuff in canada but you know since you're not doing that anymore i mean that's technically lying if you really want to go there in my eyes at least an apartment if i was staying here but it turns out that i'm not staying here so that's not a lie <laughs> okay Okay, I'm going to the moon. Oh, you know, JK, teehee, you know. Um, you know, that two seconds where I told you guys I was going to the moon, I was actually going to go to NASA and ask them myself, but like, I changed my mind. It's, it's, I'm not lying. I'm not lying about going to the moon. Chantal logic, never ever makes sense. The visa run, you don't know my visa run status. That's not a lie, you don't know it. And if I'm purposely not telling you, that doesn't make me a liar. It just means I don't wanna tell you. <laughs> 
I swear, she will try to do this, um, like, mental gymnastics and act like we're the stupid ones, girly. You might as well just start screaming that it was a visa run, which, hey, nothing wrong with that, but quit, I don't know, acting super smug about it. Come on. <clears throat> no, it's not human resources. Well, I just proved you wrong, Kelly Goral, so what else? People think changing your mind is lies. I know they don't, they, they're, they're very slow. That's all. That's just, I can't help it. People are, okay, so what you're saying is people are slow for pointing out that you lie? Huh? That's a bit rude, if I'm being quite honest. You lied about eating vegan food. Actually, I joke about that with you guys, but it actually was vegan food. It actually was vegan nuggets. I wasn't around back then, but from what I've heard, um, she was saying, guys, I'm completely vegan now, and she was eating meat behind the scenes, so. Let's go back and look at it. Go back and look at the video. Okay, but like, can we go back and look at the fact that you said that you were also eating meat at the same time? <laughs> After? <laughs> That's such reaching. Who cares about that? Can you name something in this century? <laughs> so if you make plans, okay, let's see this logic here. Now let's see Cali Girl's logic. If you make a plan to go to the mall and you say, I'm going to the mall today, I'm going to go to the mall at two. And then somebody comes home and finds you home at five and they're like, I thought you were going to the mall. Why'd you lie? Oh, maybe I didn't change my mind. I didn't feel like going to the mall. Like, you know? <laughs> These folks must be holding their breath, waiting for you to go live and start drama. Of course. What a life. Mm, surprisingly, I had things to do today, so... <laughs> <laughs> a lie can be a lie, even if there's... A no, the intention is everything in a lie. Because you're being deceptive. That's the whole point <laughs> of a lie. Like, Which, I mean, you were collecting money to stay in Canada. Wasn't that a little bit deceptive of you? Um, if you know that you were probably going back to collect that money to begin with? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how else to explain it to you, so I'm not going to try it. I think she's pointing out people gave you money. I did a video on that. I don't know if you didn't watch it. Obviously not, or you didn't hear. I made $37. Three people donated, and I told them they can have their money back. So, next. Um, I don't know yet, pause champ, when I plan on going back. I have some things I have to take care of, so I'm doing that. I have some appointments and stuff like that. So. Yeah. I guess whenever I'm ready to go, because I really don't want to go back for a while. Um, come back for a while. I don't know. It just depends on what I'm doing in life, you know, just depends. OK, wow. You know, you sitting there just doing so much and everything at the same time. You, you go and sit there, girl, you know, doing so many things, so many places to sit and so much, you know, different kind of foods to eat. Just so busy during the day, I tell you. <laughs> I think my sciatica is like gone. It's like healed or it's whatever happens in remission. I don't know. Because Isn't that just super convenient? The second that you got back to Canada. Oh my God, guys, you won't believe it. Sciatica has gone. Hallelujah. It's completely healed. Even though I couldn't walk barely in Canada and I had to go to like hospitals and things. Oh my God, it's completely gone. Hallelujah. It just suspicious. Suspicious. Because it hasn't hurt in a long time. So I don't know. Everyone was asking Chantal to give her cash app. It was not even her idea. It was chat asking her because people wanted to support her without backlash from you idiots. Yeah, I, I honestly don't care if people think I'm a scammer or an e-beggar. I don't care. I really don't. Think what you want. I mean, <laughs> sounds like someone really does care because who's the one that keeps using it as a talking point when she could talk about anything in the world? It's not me in <laughs> this two-way conversation. It's her, so... Like, I'm beyond caring at this point. Like, that's the last, like, I have so much else on my mind right now. It's just like, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. People were asking me. So I was like, okay, well. It's like every single, most creators or most reaction channels that are bitching about it have cash apps or something of some kind. Like, you know. <laughs> and also on top of that, um, I thought that, you know, Chantal didn't believe in tipping people, right? Like, she said so herself. So with that logic, I mean, Chantal shouldn't get any tips then, right? I mean, it seems only fair. Laptop next month and show your face and then don't do it. I don't know. I think being here again, I really am just like, no, I don't want to be here. <laughs> like long term, you know? Yeah, maybe someday. Maybe someday he can visit. Which as far as I know, not possible because he's a flight risk. So as far as I know, and from what I've seen and heard, that's not possible. But anyways. I'm not staying here, Angela, six months away from my husband. I know you guys don't have any emotional attachment to Salah, so you don't understand. But imagine if you were away from your husband for that many months. It would be hard for you, right? 
people act like it's a crime to be indecisive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm just I'm always going to do what's best for me. And like, you know, are you really, though, ma'am? Because um, was it not you that yesterday ate a gigantic poutine? with fries and grape soda when you have diabetes do you always do what's best for you really really are we really gonna be that delulu today okay so we have just gone full on <laughs> stupid today you hate saying it but like i always do what's best for me <laughs> yeah so is the pizza that you're gonna be eating later <laughs> in the next live stream anyways at the end of the day i know how i feel here and i know how i feel there and i don't know hi simply ravishing what do you mean you don't know? Well, I don't know. Okay, well, um, for someone that's making such bold claims, I sure as hell would hope that they would know how they're feeling. You know, would think at least. I don't want him to come here. I don't want to come here. I want to go there. <laughs> you know, and we want to travel. So, how could our, why would our marriage not be valid after being away for like a few weeks? I don't know if some of you guys hear yourselves, but. <laughs> Enjoy your Mexican food, Ola. Not Arby's. I don't want a beef curtain sandwich. <laughs> I mean, you weren't complaining on the purple mattress until after the fact. <laughs> Grocery store ice cream? I want a waffle cone. Yep, she definitely does exactly what's best for her. Waffle cone. <laughs> God. She's hopeless at this point. I have no faith, which is really sad to say, but like, do you blame Order me? Up. No way. Sonic is like three hour drive, or is it? It's freaking far. On your nerves. Holy cannoli. Okay, where am I going? So if I go down this street, and then go all the way down, we'll be there in about four minutes, okay? So entertain yourselves, be nice to each other, don't be a jerk. Look, I have to tell you, I realized something, okay? The only thing that matters on Earth is how you treat other people, okay? Okay, wow. 40 years old. It only took her 40 years to finally figure that out. Congratulations. Decades, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between. Four decades to figure that out. Congratulations. Things that first graders and kindergartners learn. 40 years. 40 years. At the end of the day, we're all going to be worm food in the ground, right? Nothing of the crap you buy in this life, you can't take it with you. Doesn't matter. And... The only thing I will say about that is I would rather be um, sad inside of a very pink, glittery, sparkly yacht than um, in my room. So um, <laughs> there's some truth in that. But like also, um, I definitely have my own. You were a good person. And you did good deeds. That's all that matters. That's your currency to the next. Well, if you want to start an ED now. Next life, okay? So uh, that's it. That's all. So my goals used to be to become famous and try to go on like America's Got Talent and like become like rich and famous and like, please, you know, that will never happen. And I don't care. I don't want that. I don't want to, I don't want to be idolized ever. <laughs> Not that I ever would be. Well, thank God, because girly, um... You're idolized, but like not in that way. You're idolized as to not what to do with your life slash eat slash a lot of other things, I'm sure. But you know, I don't like, I don't want to be like, people are idolized for the wrong reasons in life. Like there's this girl on TikTok. She has billions of likes and it's like viral just for being pretty. Like who gives a shit? Sorry for my language, but who cares? Like that's not a reason to be idolized whatsoever because you have nice. Okay, well, is she just pretty, or does she offer something else to the table that Chantal is jealous of? So that way, that's why we're getting this, um, this spiel. Like, some of the prettiest people can be complete uh, a-holes. I feel like everybody can kind of agree with that. Some people. And the, and the only reason why she's even bringing this up is the fact that she's mad that someone else went viral over their looks. It's hair because you're pretty. No, that is so not a reason to be idolizing somebody. I'm sorry, but it's true. I think people... Also, look at her preaching to the people, like, girl, yeah, out of everybody, I, I don't really think that you should be up here preaching to your YouTube audience while you drive in your Kia, um, what people should and should not, um, idolize. Like, if, if people want to do that, I mean, it might be a little bit shallow, but they have the right to, if they want to, you don't get to dictate what people, you know, idolize or not. This is such a weird take from her. People should be idolized. For, like the only first of all you shouldn't be idolizing people it should be god but 
Not everybody believes in God. Shut your face. Maybe it's just so dumb. I don't know. So. To you. Not everybody else. To you. You have that right. But um, the wonderful thing about being an adult is minding your own business, learning when to shut the F up, and um, let everyone do what people are going to do because you can't control every single person on the planet, unfortunately. Yeah. There's my lecture for today. Okay. Thank me later. <laughs> I'm thinking you're so full of crap. Well, it's true, though. I mean, come on. You know? Again, true to who? You? But not everybody thinks like you. That's the problem. <sighs> Anyways, the sandwich I'm about to get is a lot prettier. <laughs> but, like, I thought that we shouldn't be, like, idolizing pretty things, though. Whatever happened to that? Now we're idolizing beautiful food. Well... Well, maybe you should try some ugly food, like your own cooking, if I'm being quite honest with you. Sorry, I had to say it. Was that wonderful cat? And all right, so she was live earlier. She just ended it not too long ago, I'm assuming. But this is the second live from today. God Littering help us. Food. Okay, everybody name a song right now that you hate this, this month. Thanks, everyone. Okay, yeah, it goes something like... <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Last night, I dreamt of San Pedro. Oh shit. Shoot, sorry, sorry about that. Seagulls are circling me. I threw a bun. Go eat it. Even the seagulls don't want it. Go! Yellow! And also on top of that, if you're going to be feeding wildlife, please make sure that you read up like what, you know, either birds, seagulls, ducks can and slash cannot have because uh, I've heard that bread is not necessarily great for them. Go away. I'll give them this middle piece. I don't like it. I'm not giving you cheese. <laughs> Golden girl. I'm being attacked by seagull. No, you gotta be quiet if you're gonna say that. I also love how she thinks that she can control wildlife, girly. <laughs> very sorry to tell you, but seagulls of all things, when it comes to food, are very ravaged and they're very demanding and they, they want what they want and they are not like afraid to like go get what they want if they really want it. The killing of a sacred deer, right? Honestly, I'm actually kind of surprised that she can actually throw the, a piece of <laughs> crust that far with that much um, determination. How's that? <laughs> kind of skipping around because it's it's Chantal eating pizza outside. It's not super entertaining if that's what you guys are wondering. I only got a small pizza. I bet her diabetes is like, oh my god, thank you. I like a large one would have been really pushing a girly pop, but like since you got a small one, it's fine. Like, don't even worry about it. It's fine. It's a small pizza. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Completely safe. Like, thank you. Thank you so much for getting the small pizza. And so I, I bet you I bet you that's what her diabetes is saying right now. Like, girl, they don't think that's going to really matter. This truck has been circling around a lot. Keep my out. Yeah, I'm scared of diabetes, but I don't know. Probably not enough, I guess, obviously. Are you scared of diabetes? Because you're going to get it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Anyone speak seagull? There we go. Oh no. <laughs> it's a little dirty. Sorry. Gasp. <sighs> My <laughs> I feel dirty, I wanna change. Monet, because you don't wanna be here in Canada. Like I don't wanna be here. So he respects that. And we'll live then why did you come back? Live in Kuwait. People think he's dying to come here. He's not. We want to live in Kuwait. Why? It's you know. How do you know that? And girly, from what I've heard, scammers will take months to years just waiting and let it, letting the pot boil and stir that soup of manipulation and whispering sweet nothings. And yeah, we're married, babe. Mm -hmm. Just stirring the pot, stirring the pot nice and slowly until one day they get what they want. They kick the cauldron over and they run away. You never hear from them again. So. You know what it is? It's unfathomable for people to believe that I want to live in the Middle East instead of here. As if there's nowhere in the world that's better to live, <laughs> you know? Um, no, I, I don't want to be, like, we want to live there. That's why, basically. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound snappy, but... <sighs> 
that's basically why. And Savannah, I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I love them. I love Middle Eastern culture, so I don't see it that way. Okay, well, is the Middle Eastern culture like with us or has been with us? Because, girl, I have not really been seeing too much of it other than, you know, eating Middle Eastern food, maybe. But like anything else is uh, very questionable, if not just not. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. But a lot of you do. <laughs> oh, why did it back me up again? Yeah, we enjoy different things. Like, we don't want to make like... <sighs> No, like, we, he can't come here right now. We have, like, who's going to look after Julia for that long? It's a stress bringing her here. Like, we're just not prepared for that in any way. And, like, we don't want to do that right now. We want to travel to, we have a few countries in mind, like we did with Thailand. We wanted to go. We executed the plan and we went. So now we're going to do that with another country. I'm not happier in Canada. That's a lie. You sure about that? Because you seem really happy and giddy and, like, you could not contain your excitement when you came back. But now all of a sudden, oh my god, I have to go back home again. It's just like, you sure about that, girl? Because that first live stream is very telling, I will say. Yeah, I have to, like, involve myself more in Kuwait, yeah, for sure. Now, I know it's going to be hot in the summer, but what we can do, there's, like, thing, like early morning, it's not that hot. It's not bad. It gets really bad around 9. So, and then the sun, when the sun goes down, it's more bearable. Like, it's bearable at night. It's not, it's, like, still in the 30s, but it's not, like, 40s, <laughs> between 40 and 50. So, you know, and then I can also just, I don't mind being in our apartment though, really, like, go, as long as I go out once in a while. But we want to do things for sure. Like, we have plans now that the minute I get... Uh, like, I'm gonna skip forward, but just like, less talking about doing stuff and more doing them, please. Krista, do you have a plan? If full at war breaks out while you're there, I generally worry about you. Oh, thank you. Hey, Meep! I, I miss ya! Um, oh yeah, the war question. No, I don't have a plan. I mean, I guess I'll have to see what my options are, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm not really afraid of that. Because, oh, a little blackbird just stole the pizza crust. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just not. I could never be here. And then, like, Salah and Howie and Julia, they're all there. During that chaos, I could not leave them there. No way. But I think it'll be okay. It'll be okay, guys. It's not, you, you know... People are just like some of the, it's not true. Like there's no like as of right now, it might happen, but there's no suspended flights like to Kuwait or you know, from Kuwait or whatever. Yeah, that's not from what I've heard. But then again, I could be wrong. Some people feel entitled to your life. Yeah, that's true actually though. <laughs> whatever makes you happy. And who's the one that posted for the internet for all to see? Well, it's not me, <laughs> and I'm the only other person here. So take your pick. Yeah. No, I can't just stay in Canada because it's not what I want to do. Why would I do something like that other people want me to do? You know, I can get well there. I don't see myself like, you know, it just depends. Yeah. So. Oh my God. How many, like, how many times are we going to be going back and forth of like, no, I must be in Canada to get better because of all of the Canadian benefits I have. And then of course, while well, she's in Canada goes, guys, oh no, it's a complete travesty. I must go back. I can be, I can get better in Kuwait. Do not worry. I can do it. It's just like, pick one. Pick one, stay there, get better. She probably won't, spoiler alert, but just like, <laughs> Pick where you're gonna be staying, babe, and like stay there because I'm exhausted just flying back and forth so constantly. My blood sugar was higher, like. I know that she hasn't finished her sentence yet, but like, <gasps> no. When I first got to the hospital, because of the fact that one, I was stupid and picked up a strawberry lemonade, like a fruit juice from Booster Booster Juice, but it was like all real fruit, but it was still high in sugar, and. I mean, this is an all natural, like, fruit juice, guys, ma'am. That's just a marketing term, so that way you spend money. And also, and also on top of that, ma'am, you're a diabetic. You should not be drinking fruit juices without, like, consulting your blood sugar first. It's Chantal. I don't know why I'm so dumbfounded every single time that she does something stupid like that, but here we are. This is the... This is the life of Chantal. Just a bunch of stupid life decisions. And here we are. When your body's under stress and sick, your blood sugar tends to be higher. So then by the time I left the hospital, when I got there, it was like 17. And then when I left the hospital, it went down to like 12. When I stand on the front line, I wouldn't be allowed to. I'm not a, I'm not in the military. People think I'm just going to go there. <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't be on the front line. No. I'm not saying I want to go and be in a war. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just not afraid of... I don't know. Maybe I'll feel different when, if it really happened. Like right now, I just, I'm like, don't think that anything will happen. You know? The way people view Kuwait... 
has some desert nightmares, racist and condescending, has a higher rate of living standards than most Western cities. I know, SB. That's why I don't bother, like, explaining anymore, because, like, unless you've experienced it, you don't really, like, understand, you know? And, like, before I traveled to the Middle East, I had these preconceived notions of it as well. And it took me going there and living there to, like, appreciate living there more. And I don't think people understand how that could ever be a possibility, especially somebody like me who used to be so wild, you know, like, huge train wreck of the friggin' internet, you know? So... Yes, thank you. Mm. You still kind of are if you really want to go hey, there. Sarah, I was trying cooking my meals and things. I like my kitchen there. I like having a domestic routine. I find it like healthy when I was doing it. I do fall off and just like have lazy days. I call them seal days. Seal days are a part. Yeah, absolutely not. It's like being I'm in between. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this is where I'm from. So it's just it's the same thing that like she's been saying the same thing over and over again guys we're not missing much i promise someone like me who mentally and physically have a hard time with routine like that so i find that so time consuming that's why i'm indoors a lot as well because i just don't find that there's a lot of time you know but it says the woman that has nothing but time on her side and then some is complaining about how she doesn't have enough time girl shut up until you talk to salon he talks to you around going to kuwait again no he really just like no, he doesn't, like, try to, like, you know, he's not very insistent, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not like that. No, that's not how our conversations go at all. Um, it's not about that. This is all, these these decisions are all based on my, like, I do, like, confer with him and we talk about it, but, you know, I'm very strong-willed, like, when I have my mindset on something. So if I'm like, okay, I'm going to Canada, I try every way to make it work, like, you know, that I... Okay, well then apply that to getting better mentally and physically instead of making 10,000 excuses for it then. If you're so resilient and you make up your mind and you do it, then why haven't you lost any weight or gotten mentally better? Mm -hmm. I can't like make it happen and to go back. So yeah, like, you know, I want to make that happen. And then, you know, I guess, I don't know, with weight loss, it's like, Cause I like, I can't like, I, when I really want something, I really set and I really set up to do it. I always usually do. So when it comes to weight loss, it's like, I don't know, maybe I guess I just love food too much still, you know, but I don't know. You love it too much. You use it too much to cope. You use it too much as a, um, like emotional response. It's your vice. And for, and for some reason, Chantal is the only person in the entire world that cannot see that she relies on food a lot more than anything else. I don't know. I don't think Salah's in the chat. You were indoors before you even met Salah. People act like you were on hiking each day. Hi, Colleen. Yeah, I, exactly. I, yeah. No, you were going out. We were going shopping. Like, even like the week before all of this started to kick off, we were going out pretty much every day and going shopping, going to Pennington's and Halloween stores and like the, to go get food and like, um, the long road, like, we were out and doing stuff and going places and not just sitting in the same exact place 24 7. how do you know he didn't brenda maybe he did fight for me to stay you know i'm not like you guys are like fishing for personal information the next headliner on reaction channels would be oh he didn't beg her to stay or you know she's giving up their personal information <laughs> so i does love her i can see it and i love him a lot yeah, according to them, they're always like, she's broke, she's too fat, she's too ugly, he won't love her, he's just using her. But I have nothing to use, like, I'm, you know, if I'm all those things. What the heck? You're dangerous to fly over Middle East. Yeah, I know, but... Well, the only thing that's um, not deniable about all the things people say about you, some might be, you know, harsh, true, but the only thing that cannot be denied is um, you're a Canadian citizen, so... Yeah, true, me, yeah, exactly, an agenda. Hey, comic book! Like, you guys, you don't know, like, it's not all just the Middle East. You guys really don't, I don't know. Granted, it is close to the area, but I don't know. <laughs> well, Zoe, I mean, I don't know. My my content will always be super exciting, like, you know. Yeah, it's my decision at the end of the day, exactly. But your paycheck will say otherwise, unfortunately. And pizza and ice cream in one day. Great job. Health queen. <laughs> I 
I'm glad in the four or five times that I just skipped forward, we're still just staring off into the camera, just like mesmerizically. Is that a word? No, actually. But anyway, it's like just staring into the camera and being like, wow, look at me eat this ice cream cone, guys. Oh my gosh, when I have diabetes, I'm eating a, like a waffle cone. What are you going to do about it? And it's like, girly, the only person that's really affecting is you. If you want to do that, go for it. But um, choices, a lot of choices are being made and not super great ones. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for me for today. <laughs> Who oh, lordy, that was not super fun. But um, with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.